The brain for kids. What weighs about three pounds, uses electrical impulses, calculates up to 268 miles per hour, and stores unlimited amounts of information and data? Here is a hint. It is not a computer. Still stumped? It is your brain. And today, we are going to take a look inside and learn lots of cool facts about it. The brain is the main part of your body's nervous system, which is a complex system of thousands of nerves that communicate information to and from the brain. Your memories and thoughts move through your cells as tiny electrical charges, and they connect to each other at synapses, which are the links between two cells. The more messages that are sent to the brain through these synapses, the stronger the connections become. This is the way that habits like brushing your teeth or biting your nails are formed. Interesting, right? Today, we are going to look at six parts of the brain. These six parts are the cerebrum, the brainstem, the cerebellum, pituitary gland, hypothalamus, and amygdala. Fun fact, scientists have been able to locate areas inside each brain part that controls specific parts of your body. This is called brain mapping. For example, a doctor can stimulate a specific area of your brain and it would feel like someone is touching your arm, leg, or another part of your body. Because of brain mapping, we know which part of the brain does what. So let's learn more, starting with the largest part of the brain, the cerebrum. The cerebrum makes up about 85% of the brain's weight. It is the area of the brain that allows you to control voluntary muscle movement, like jumping in the air or kicking a ball. It also manages memory, both in the short term, remembering what happened in the recent past, and the long term, which is remembering things from the distant past. Another cool fact about the cerebrum is that it is divided into two halves. The right half helps with abstract thought. Things like art, music, colors, shapes, and other parts of the imagination. The left half is more analytical, which helps you speak, make logical decisions, reason, and do math problems. The cerebrum also has four sections, or lobes. The frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe, and the occipital lobe. Next, let's look at the brainstem. The brainstem is in charge of keeping all the functions of your body in working order, like breathing, food digestion, and blood circulation. Plus, it is responsible for all of the involuntary muscle movement in your body. In short, the brainstem keeps you alive. Now let's talk about the cerebellum. This part of your brain controls your balance, movement, and coordination. This includes things like standing and activities that require balance, like riding a bike. Without the cerebellum, a person would have a really tough time moving. And even though it is only about one-eighth the size of the cerebrum, it is still super important. Ready to learn about the pituitary gland? Fun fact, the pituitary gland is only about the size of a pea. This tiny powerhouse helps your body grow by producing and releasing hormones into your body. Without a pituitary gland, your body would not change as you age. It also controls sugar and water in your body and keeps your metabolism going, which helps you have more energy. Not bad for a pea-sized gland. The hypothalamus controls the temperature of your body, which means it is the part of the brain that tells your body to sweat when it's hot and to shiver when it's cold. 
Finally, the amygdala. This part of the brain is the control center for feelings. There are groups of nerves on both sides of the brain that are responsible for these emotions. Now that you have learned some new interesting facts, let's review. Fill in the blank. The pituitary gland is the size of a blank. The size of a pea. Which part of the brain is the largest? The cerebrum. Fill in the blank. The brain is part of the blank system. The brain is part of the nervous system. True or false, the cerebellum controls balance. True. Brilliant job, brainiacs. The brain is the control center of the body. Taking care of your brain is super important. So remember to eat healthy foods, exercise, and challenge your mind. And always wear a helmet when you are riding a bike or scooter. That way, you can keep your brain sharp, healthy, strong, and safe. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.